I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do with it. Ooh. Probably not going to be taking that guy out with it. That's fine. Come on then, Frogman. Let's be having you. Yeah, the shotgun does feel... Ooh, another one. Nice and powerful, to be honest. Like, it's a bit weird against those super zombies, because I don't think you can, like, explode their heads. Unfortunately. At least, I haven't managed to do so. That was just what the doctor ordered. 14 rounds. Well, we shall try and make those count. Uh, we've got another zombie. Is it just a zombie? Or is there more dastardly things up here? Mr. Zambi, we can leave him. We can also unlock this door here. Can't smash any of the... Ooh. Wow. Okay. Starting to get a few of these save... Uh, save doohickeys now, aren't we? Let's leave the first aid as well. We do want the shotgun shells. How many is it? We've got 25. Oh, wow. That was uh, seven. Nice. It's a bit strange that um, your yeah, ammunition uh, pickups are randomized. That's odd to me. I mean, it's not bad. It's fine. It is what it is. But it's something that you can't rely on. You know, Resident Evil, you always knew. Um, you know, if you picked up a hangar magazine, it was going to be 15 bullets. It was going to be, um, you know, always. Unless it was one of the very rare double packs, which would give you 30. And, you know, shotgun shells was always seven. Although I believe in Resident Evil 2, wasn't it five? Whatever. But there was always consistency. Whereas this is a little bit funny. And in Silent Hill as well. Silent Hill, ammunition was ammunition. And in Fatal Frame. So to have... Uh, oh, hello. This little fella. Not really sure what this little fella's doing. I think he's going to try and chase us. Come on, you little bitch. Chase me. There you go. What do you think? You like that? Yeah? You like that? Yeah, you do. Now, unfortunately, because we've left that oof, that zombie behind us, do need to be a little bit whoa wary of where he is. Well, that's all she wrote for the handgun. That's fine. You little git. Well, man, this guy is tough. Holy smokes! I guess the handgun really didn't do an awful lot to him, did it? Didn't do much at all. And he gives us a bandage for our trouble. Not entirely sure that was worth it. But hey-ho, diddly dee. Ooh. We have blood. And where there is blood, these guys always spawn. It is a constant. You can literally set your watch by it. Okay. Right, so that way leads to the graveyard. But we're not going to the graveyard just yet. And uh, it might be worth us going back inside and grabbing that health. How many shells do we have? All right, we've got 29 shells. Could be better. This green stuff. I'm seeing it everywhere. I wonder if that's why all these plants look so sick. Almost like they're mutated. Maybe, Alicia. Maybe. Let's go grab that med kit. Yeah, that green guy's tough. Like, when I um, fought him off camera, he took up roughly the same amount of shotgun shells then. Maybe less. So, it, it's the, the way the damage is done in this game is a little bit strange. I can't... 
I can't work out in my head if the pistol was doing any damage. Is, are some enemies just resistant to the pistol? Like, um, the game is reinforcing that it's pointless to use it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter too much. What matters is that's another enemy dispensed. Another sack of shit returned to the soil. Although maybe, just maybe, we don't want that kind of fertilizer on this lawn. And you know, there are certain places in this game where it's really pretty with the lighting. Not everywhere, sure, but certain places. Okay. Now this one is locked as well, locked from the inside. Well, that's okay, we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's take this door. And what do we have here? Gatekeeper notes. Who is the gatekeeper? Note three. Who is the gatekeeper? Note three. Needs a comma there, really. And if I'm picking up the bad grammar, you've gone wrong. Um, I noticed something very peculiar the other night. Some of the inmates, myself included, uh, inmates initiates, myself included, have been on high alert after a party of initiates had disappeared a couple of days ago. One of them I knew well. His name is John. A curious bastard he was. He was convinced the master had some kind of riches stored somewhere underground. Where we've heard rumours of a great subterranean chamber existing below the mansion. He tried to talk a group of us into exploring with him, but those of us with any shred of common sense refused his invitation. Last night, as I was making my usual nocturnal rounds, trying to find some answers, I noticed the big brute was nowhere to be found. I walked through the cemetery where I finally saw him, walking down a stone path I'd never noticed before, carrying a full-sized coffin I followed him for some time. We came upon some ancient looking ruins. I dared follow him inside after he barged through the large stone doors. While I tried to stay hidden behind pillars and collapsed walls, I noticed he had gone through a large wooden door deep within the building, disappearing along with the coffin. I put my ear to the door. I could hear strange muffled sounds from the other side. I waited for an hour to see if he'd come back, and it was getting ready to leave when he re-emerged without the coffin and, some and used some thick braided rope to tie the door off. It looked like it led below ground. What was he doing down there? What were those terrible noises I heard? Oh, God, Jonathan. So, the big brute was Jonathan. Okay. That, that note confuses me. Is it me? Is that just poorly written? Um, gatekeeper note. Oh, right. Hello. I see. So that's supposed to be this. Ah, right. Right, I get ya. Looks like we've missed some of it, maybe. Now, one annoying thing about this game is to get the secret good ending, you have to find every single journal. Yeah. Hello. This guy looks like he's just come straight out of a kiss convention. I guess he's supposed to be scary. I'm not entirely sure. But it doesn't really do much for me, I'll be honest. He's certainly not Nemesis. Let's just say that. Right, let's combine. Now, I don't know if there's a more elegant way to fight this guy. But he just seems to do a large amount of damage. And you have to tank it. There doesn't appear to be any kind of way of getting away from him. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. So when you damage him, he will drop to a, 
See, sometimes you get stunned. Sometimes. And then, obviously, you have to reload and you're screwed. But he's dead now. So it hardly matters. And he drops the gatekeeper key. How curious. I found this on the body of that monster I killed. It probably unlocks the gate to the cemetery. Well, that's useful. Did we? No, I thought we dropped it then. But before we go poking around in the cemetery, let's have a look around here, shall we? Hopefully we can find some supplies. Oh, <laughs> they're just throwing save discs at us now. The thing looked like he was carrying a coffin. Was he feeding that creature for some reason? Feeding what creature? That doesn't make any sense. And I, that log, I'm, I'm confused. Does that imply that the guy that we just killed was Jonathan? Or was Jonathan in the coffin? Uh, I'm not sure. A very curiously written things. Anyway, what we should do is go through these doors. And you'll recognize where we are. Yep, we're back in the ruins. How all things seem to interlock in this game. I like it. We are opening up more paths. Our gun, our handgun is still empty, unfortunately. And it is unfortunate, because we kind of need that for zombies. Now, these little blood patches, like I said, these, for some reason, attract these guys. I don't know whether it's apply, uh, implied that these guys have already made kills there. Or, well, the blood is shimmering, though. I don't know. Maybe that attracts them. I'm not... I, I don't understand the deep lore in this game. How the monsters work. Ooh. He took three shells. That was not great. But it is what it is, hopefully. He makes it back to us in souls. What have we got here? Oof. I mean, yay in one respect. Hangar magazine. 14 rounds, no less. Nearly a whole one. But... Our ammunition supplies are severely depleted. Can I just say how much I really like this area? This area is so cool. I can't quite put my finger on why I like it so much, these hedgerows. But they're really nice. Oh, another handgun magazine. Alright, so we now have two magazines. And we've unlocked another door. But where does this one lead? Ah, yes. Very nice. This leads us almost back to the... Well, back to the... Entrance to the mansion, I guess. At least I assume that's the entrance to the mansion. Hmm. Okay. No, well, let's keep exploring. I'm going to carry the big gun. Because there is another patch of blood here. And you know as well as I do what that means. And I really do wish the shotgun would stun the enemies. It's annoying that uh, enemies can spawn on top of you and get a free hit. Nothing. Oh. Okay. Wow. That magazine had 17 bullets in it. So we're sort of replenishing our handgun ammo here. Which is good. And this returns us a little bit further up. Look at, I mean, look at stuff like that. It, it is pretty. All right. So, we could potentially, oh. 
I've never seen save discs stack. I know why they've stacked. Because they're both the same save disc. They're both the Hungarian Rhapsody. So, th <sighs> see, that's another annoying... Okay, that's actually annoyed me. So, the reason that the save discs don't stack is because they're different tracks. Really, game? So, you, you could have made that a little bit less painful? Right, let's go back to the, the portal. It's like no more enemies. See, enemies still haven't spawned in yet. See, look at that. that they made an effort with the visuals. They have. It's an unoptimized, messy effort, but one all the same. Right. Let us drop everything down. So, 10 shotgun shells left. That's not fantastic. Yeah, you can see I've, I've tried to organize our inventory a little bit here, but um, yeah, that's about to go massively out of whack now. We've got four save discs. All right. Happy with that. We're starting to build up a little bit of a buffer now. Let's get all the save discs together. Right, what don't we need? I don't know if we're going to need the knife on us, but it might be worth it because of how limited our supplies are. Uh, we will take a bandage, but we'll take a decent one, and then we'll drop that one back. That gives us one item slot, but that's fine, because if we have to, we can use our ointment. All right, that's fine. That is fine. What would be cool with this portal system is if you could choose... Oh, one thing I didn't do. My bad. I've got to pull all of our items back through the portal, haven't I? I'll do that off camera. My bad, guys. We actually have five save discs. And yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, because they're different tracks, you can't combine them. That's really dumb. So although they're still save discs, they're just classed as different items. Which is... But well, I don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's really dumb. Anyway, whatever. Let's go. So we have five saves, which means we probably could have afforded to use one. Let me just check for prosperity. We're going to be going to the graveyard now. I don't know. Uh, where that's going to lead us exactly. Are we going to have a save area in the graveyard? Because we are pushing 25 minutes here. Hmm. Where's the next save portal? We don't want to go through there. We want to go through here. I might take a detour and save it. Um, so we can come straight down here where we've killed all these guys. I mean, the save... Areas aren't exactly like that spread out. Which is fine. But... These areas, like this long, winding road. There is... Ah, ha, ha, ha. See, this is the annoyance. There is a save room through that door. But there's a problem with that, isn't there? There's no item box through that door. Ah. Yeah, the save system that, and the way they've handled, like, the save... Ooh, hello. And the way they've handled... Can we get him to... Like, attack. There we go. Oh, we should have refilled our flask as well. Now, the flask that we've got... Originally... 
Uh, that was actually uh, a physical item that you had to put in your inventory. All three of them. But luckily, they saw the light. Actually, I can go through there and save it, can't I? Yeah, that might be the best thing to do because we're kind of out of time here. Um, yeah, originally they were also another item. So this game was kind of just stuffed to the gills with silly, questionable mechanics, I guess you could say, um, in regards to the items. Yeah, I really don't think that we needed to have quite so many. Because it doesn't add anything to the game. It doesn't add anything to the game at all. It just adds frustration, needless backtracking. Does it ruin the game? No. I don't think so. I'm still having a really good fun time with the game. But it just adds that artificial layer of resistance that really doesn't need to be there. Anyway, guys, all I'm going to do is go in there and save the game. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.